I can't explain to you how miserable I am because I watched Ted Lasso. <laughs> I am so in love with the fictional character of Ted Lasso that it's ruining my life. <laughs> I know he's not real. I know it's just a perfectly written man with Jason Sudeikis' looks. But the combination man, it kills me. It kills me. I didn't think a fictional character could have such an impact on me. Uh, an adult with a job and a life, but here we are. But I still want you all to watch Ted Lasso for the good vibes. So today I'm gonna to talk about what it is and why I love it so much and why I'm in love with Ted Lasso and every character in it, but more Ted Lasso, oh God. That man, woo! <laughs> Ted Lasso is a sports comedy drama show on Apple Plus. It has two seasons so far. The show was developed by Jason Sudeikis, Bill Lawrence, Brendan Hunt and Joe Kelly. I first heard about it because one of the actors and writers of the show has a podcast called Films To Be Buried With, which is one of my favorite podcasts. And this actor slash writer, Brett Goldstein, who is like also the nicest man I've ever come across. I don't know them in real life. This is all in my head but the way he, he seems very kind. <laughs> and he was always like, check out Ted Lasso on Apple. And so for work, I had to watch uh, a show on Apple Plus. And then I accidentally um, subscribed in a way where I had a month to watch anything I wanted on Apple Plus. So I was like, let's watch Ted Lasso. I always wanted to check it out. And so I did. And I watched it in two days. And now I'm devastated and I've not recovered since. Ted Lasso is about an American college football coach who is hired to coach an English football team in England. So a US coach for college football, so in the US football, comes to England to coach football, which is soccer in the US, but it, you know, it's with the feet. <laughs> and he's hired by the football club's owner, Rebecca, who wants the team to fail to spite her evil ex-husband. <laughs> Sounds like he's a villain, but he is. He's probably the only nasty character in the whole show. And so we just follow Ted's first day and then his interactions in the football club, how he grows with the team, how the team grows with him, how his kind of incredible personality infects everything around him and everyone loves him and everyone becomes kind and friends and it's, it's wonderful. It made me love football in a way I didn't think I would. My English family and my German family are very football fanatics, especially my English family and my dad and my brother are huge Manchester United fans. So my childhood was spent and my teenage years with football noise in the background. And there's this Sky Sports commentator in Ted Lasso. And when I saw this man, I was like, this man is my childhood. I saw him on screen all day, every day, just commenting on games. And for some reason, I don't know if it was Teenage Rebellion or I just didn't really like it. I never watched any football with them. I was, I was like, this is boring. I want to do cool stuff. So all my life, everyone's been in a room together having fun and watching football. And I was alone in a room with my little brother sometimes watching funny cat compilations, I guess, on YouTube. My dad's such a fan that he even had the MU for Manchester United as a, as a car plate. But this show made me love it more. I'd understand it more, I guess. This show is the ultimate feel-good show. Everyone is kind, everyone is nice, and everyone loves each other. And it's basically because Ted is the nicest man alive. He's so funny, so kind, he cares for everyone. He's like the perfect coach for a team that hasn't figured out how to work together. The characters in the show are so well-written. They're all flawed but so human at the same time. Ted, of course, on the surface, he's this very goofy, funny, fun-loving, lovable guy, but he also has some darkness in his life, which will unravel in the episodes. Like, I, I can't Google the show because I get too sad that this world isn't real. So, editing you, Leah, have fun looking for clips. I hope your heart's not broken. My favorite character next to Ted is Rebecca, who's the owner of the club. And she starts out as this classic, kind of the bad guy in the series. She's kind of cold, uptight, not very approachable, personable character. But even in episode one, there's moments where you think, ah, oh, maybe she's kinder than we think. Maybe there's something there. Oh. And oh boy, we do get to know her and she's the coolest character ever. 
I, I don't think I've ever seen a woman like her on TV. She just illustrates what a complex female character should look like. She just feels real. She has her bad times, she has her good times. She's caring, she's so funny. She's so smart, she's a boss ass bitch. She's just so cool. And especially because um, the actress is middle-aged as well, whatever that is, but you know, just seeing a woman who's not 25 have a complex and interesting role and something to say is just so refreshing and so wonderful and I'm forever grateful for this role. The show begins with characters that could be cliches, like they've all got their roles. Here's the tough guy, here's the crazy coach, here's the, the cold boss, um, we have the footballer's girlfriend who's kind of ditzy and you think oh, she's like this influencer type girl, I don't know what that is either, and it just starts with you thinking I kind of feel like I know the story, I know these characters, I kind of can predict what will happen, but you can't. You can't because the characters are written like real people, just a bit nicer than real people are. And that's just the beauty of it. Like, the relationships between the people are incredible. Everyone's respectful and caring and wise and so funny. My top three relationships are, first of all, the relationship between Keely and Rebecca. So Rebecca's the boss, like I said, and Keely's um, the girlfriend of one of the players. And their friendship is just so pure and beautiful. It just felt like a real female friendship. You know, they pass the Bechdel test. They're smart, they're funny, they share everything. And there's no bitchiness or cattiness that you usually see in television. There's no gossiping about each other and especially the character Keely is so open that there's one scene where they're talking about this guy and he comes in and is like, are you talking about me? And she goes, yeah, we did. And I was like, yes! The relationships just seem real and nice and show you as a viewer a way a healthy relationship should work and can work. The next relationship I love is also with Keely. I just think Keely in herself is an amazing character because she's so wise and funny and sweet and open and ha has a heart on her sleeve and just wants good things for everyone and supports everyone. Spoiler alert, she gets into a relationship with one of the guys, Roy, who's played by the um, podcast host who I also love. And that is just the, the most beautiful, healthy, straight relationship I've ever seen. They're just, ah, <laughs> they're so kind to each other and respectful. And they say, sorry, they know their boundaries, they're open with each other, it's beautiful. And the footballer, her boyfriend, Roy Kent, he's portrayed as kind of really angry and stern and serious guy. But with her, he becomes softer and sweeter. The last relationship I love is in one of the episodes we're introduced to Rebecca's old friend from her teenage years who kind of trying to reconnect and she's called Sassy and she's introduced in a scene and for a moment I thought oh no this is gonna be the mean woman role she's gonna do something bad and Rebecca will have a fight with her and it's gonna be this whole thing but no she's just also a nice character and she's supportive and nice and she has a kind of a thing with Ted Lasso so I'm forever jealous of this fiction character but she's so cool and her daughter's Rebecca's goddaughter and so they rekindle their friendship and it's just so mature and lovely. The whole show is mature and portrays what we all should be like. Fun and respectful. <laughs> Next to the fantastic relationships, the show also portrays the like, least toxic masculinity I've ever seen. All the men are soft and sweet. So Ted Lasso's sort of supposed to be soft and sweet from the beginning. And the idea, I think, is that you kind of make fun of him. You like him, but you're like, oh, that guy. And everyone around him does. But as the story goes on, you see how his vulnerability and kindness infects the rest. And so everyone becomes so much kinder. And just seeing men sit in a group together and discuss their feelings ah, was so beautiful. Seeing men of a certain generation talk to each other like that was so special. Like they're all in their like 40s and 50s, I assume. I don't wanna, maybe I'm wrong. But, um, and just to see men sit with each other and openly talk about their feelings and they respectfully give advice was so refreshing. Ted Lasso made me so excited to age. Like, I can't wait. If that's what my life is like in my 40s and 50s and everyone's nice to each other. That's not a very realistic expectation, is it? But I can dream. This was just a video of me rambling why I love it so much, but the last thing I love 
is how funny it is. The sh it's just hilarious. The dialogue is so clever. And one of the things I really love is that Ted Lasso drops random pop culture references in normal conversations. So he'd be like, this this is kind of like, and then reference a movie or a song or something. And it's just so, so funny. Why I also really love is Ted Lasso gives like a big speech to the team, to the footballers to be like, we can do this guys. And the the guys on the team always react really earnestly. Like when Ted Lasso makes a movie reference, he's like, this reminds me of this and this. All the players just go, mm, yeah, yeah. And it's so sweet and funny because they're not making fun of each other. They, they're respectful and open and just so smart. <sighs> I really recommend the show. If you want to be sad about how bleak real life is, go ahead. I, I watched a few days ago and I feel like I need a week to fully recover. Like my heart it's broken. I'm just in my feels about the show. It's just, do you like this cat? It's the kind of show I know I can watch again and again if I ever feel down or I, or I just want to be in that world. I think it's maybe my new favorite TV show, but at the moment I'm too in love with Ted Lasso and I'm too emotionally vulnerable to watch it again because my heart will break. It has fantastic writing, it has fantastic characters, fantastic relationships. It's a good mood, great songs. It's just so much fun. I really, really recommend you watch it. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it all the way through, I'd love to hear your opinions on Ted Lasso. Have you watched it and did you enjoy it? Um, I could talk about it for ages, but I won't because it'll just make me sad. Thank you so much for watching my video and I hope to see you in the next one. Subscribe if you like to, I'd be very honored. I'm gonna not Google pictures of Ted Lasso now because I'm too in love. Ugh.